What is going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you a war recap from a recent random spin where we matched up against Immoral Reapers. Uh, this was a re really fun war for me. Um, Immoral Reapers uh, absorbed a lot of the back road, which is where I got my start. I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and hop in and check out the war statistics. So here is the basic war statistics. You can see 112 to 113, 92% um, to 93%. Uh, 33 triples on both sides. Um, it, it came down to us not being able to clear uh, one of their Town Hall 11s here. Um, our, our 10s struggled a little bit this war, and, and that was the difference. Of course, uh, they also had two more Town Hall 10s than we had, so that made it um, a little bit uh, more difficult. But uh, props to them, you know, uh, two stars on all of our Town Hall 11s, um, tripled a bunch of our Town Hall 10s. Um, they had actually two uh, 10v10 triples. Um, same same person, I believe. Where was that at? Oh, uh, right here. Uh, Heli. And so, um, fun fact, uh, Immoral Reapers are part of the Immoral War family. But before they were part of the Immoral War family, um, Immoral Reapers, um, or, or many of the guys from Immoral Reapers, including Helicase, were uh, part of the back road, and that is where I actually got my start in uh, competitive clan wars. Um, I know that I talk a lot about being in war road, but uh, the back road was actually uh, where I first started um, the, uh, you know, changing to a, a three-star mentality. But um, all right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, have a look at some of the uh, attacks here. Um, Oh, it, it, just real quick, so as far as six-packs go, um, all of our Town Hall 11s had six-packs. They were all dips on, on Town Hall 10s, but a, as I've said in the past, and I will continue to say, those are not gimmies anymore, um, and so uh, props to our 11s. It was, they had a huge showing. I mean, being short two Town Hall 10s and still coming within one star, uh, it, it was it was uh, quite a quite an accomplishment. Um, Maja Pahit uh, also um, got a uh, six pack as a Town Hall 10. Uh, he was on nine cleanup duty. We had a couple of nines that didn't get finished off. Um, Aimer got a six pack. James got a six pack. Um, Manhole got a six pack. Uh, Adamantium got a six pack. And Tanyu got a six pack. And for those that don't know, uh, Manhole is my um, mini in, in Invicta. Uh, all right, let's have a look at. We're going to start at the bottom, uh, number 38. Um, this was Tanyu. And Tanyu is coming with a Penta. I helped him plan this attack. It's actually a, a very cool attack. So he starts with a baby drag. And the goal here is to not draw the CC. And you'll see that just on the edge here by these mortars, um, you could draw the CC. Uh, he wanted to only pull air troops out of the CC. Um, or air targeting troops, and so out comes a wizard, and out comes the um, baby dragon. Uh, there's there's a Valk in that CC, and the king is actually going to wind up pulling that Valk here in just a second. Unfortunately, not what he wanted to do. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the, when the queen popped her abilities, those two Valks uh, came pouring out. And so those two Valks, they do wind up making quick work of the queen, but... In with the Lalo portion now. Um, he has two hounds down. He's going to swag a spell here. That's an accident. Didn't mean to do that. It actually works out for him. I think had he had that extra haste, he would have sped some loons across, and he would not have. He would have gotten one less hound to pop. Um, I was actually getting a little bit concerned. Finally, gets a pop there. Um, all of his hounds are in at this point. Uh, three of them have not popped, so he's got two pops. Uh, you really want that Max Hound to pop. Um, that's where all, I mean, just lots of pups come out of those Max Hounds. Um, he's already got quite a few pups out there. Uh, one more pop would be nice, and you can see that Max Hound is about to go, and right about there it goes. And so tons and tons of pups. Uh, we'll speed this up a little bit. This is going to be three stars, of course. Uh, got a troll Tesla down here, uh, not enough to get rid of that uh, last hound. 
Um, all of those pups just doing some nice work there, and that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Tanyu. All right, let's keep going. We're going to look at uh, number 33, and this was James, and he is coming with a witch slap. Um, so he, he's uh, doing this. Um, it's, it's interesting how he does the witch slap here. So you can see witches uh, coming up here, and then he throws down uh, four giants. Uh, he's got bowlers in the CC. He's going to wall break in. He's got two jumps and two rages, which is your normal kind of uh, witch slap spell. Uh, of course, so, some people throw a, a heal in there, um, but in he goes. Jump First jump is down. Um, a little bit of uh, damage taken by from that first AD on those healers, but uh, everything is pouring into the core here. Second jump is now down. Healers are on all of these witches, and every single witch has moved over and is coming down the core, and you're going to just see skellies pouring out of here. Um, healers are up, keeping everything uh, alive, and now both of those air defenses are gone, and all four healers are still alive. So this is um, this is going to be GG. This is a, a three star. <laughs> Throws a witch over in the corner there, uh, just to to help out, um, clear some trash, and a wizard down here to clear out some trash, and that is it. So we will go ahead and fast forward here, uh, but it is uh, three stars, easy. Uh, Queen is, is finishing up some work here. Uh, lots and lots of witches with lots and lots of skeletons and healers still on those witches. And as long as you've got healers on, on witches like that, uh, this is this is going to be end game here. So there we go. Uh, finish up these last few defenses. And it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, James. All right. Um, Jocko. I have not seen one of these in a while. Um, I was excited to see Jocko uh, get get a triple um, here. This is his first triple in in uh, Invicta, and it winds up being against a really solid clan and a really tough base. So uh, he's coming with a blue healer. Um, you can see he's got six healers, uh, eleven Valks, um, and a CC full of uh, bowlers. So uh, starts with a bit of a queen walk here. Um, sends a baby drag in, doesn't want his queen going around that corner, wants to push her over to the left here, um, and she does. There we go. She starts moving towards this spot, um, in with a couple of hogs. He's trying to get that CC pulled. There it comes. Now that the CC is out, poison is down. Uh, a little bit scary here. Two Valks, and he doesn't have any more. Uh, he doesn't have the queen's ability, but um, those... Those uh, healers keep her alive just long enough there. Um, a wizard down here. That baby drag did some work on the side over here. Uh, starts his bowlers. Um, I think the goal was actually to get the bowlers to walk down the right side. It doesn't actually happen here. I believe everything winds up going... Oh, everything goes down the side, actually. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is not what he wanted to do. And I think the reason that, that I wanted to show this is just to show that, like, hey, things can go so wrong with this Veeler attack, and still uh, you can wind up with a triple. Um, so <laughs> Valks, uh, they're, they're trying to beat into a, into a compartment up there, and... It just was not working. He could not get them to stay inside the base. Uh, finally, a few go in, and some healers go in with them. Uh, drops a heal. Probably did not need to use that heal there. Could have saved that. Um, but uh, winds up working out okay. Um, Valks are in there, ripping through the center of the base. He's got Valks over here, uh, through the southern end of the base. So um, eventually, that that expo is going to go down from this bowler. And... Oh! Or Valks. And that is about it. Uh, he's got four point defenses left, an air defense, and um, a blower, and that is it. So, pops the king's ability, uh, rips through those um, hidden Teslas, and it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Jocko. All right. Um, Clutch. Clutch did an awesome queen walk uh, Bolalo. And, and we often don't see the Bolalo with the Queen Walk, which I thought was pretty cool. So he's got bowlers in the CC here. And he starts his Queen Walk. 
we'll get back here, uh, just trying to cut that edge um, and push that queen up to get to this air defense, actually, is the goal. If she pushes right into this corner, um, she can reach that air defense. Uh, he, she's not going to get to that air defense. Um, and he throws a jump down right on top of that air defense and brings his bowlers right through there. So queen takes out that cannon, then she's going to step up and take out this air defense right here. And he has to pop his ability. She was getting pretty low there, and that causes the CC to uh, redirect over here. Uh, notice, though, um, the only thing tanking for these bowlers at this point is the uh, Barb King, and he gets killed by the CC. So now it's just the Queen and the Bowlers. Um, he's got, he had, I, I think it was 14 loons, um, knocks out that one air defense, has an air defense over here that he brings in both of his uh, hounds for, and I was watching this live, and it just seemed like uh, these, um, the, the loons just disappeared on him. I don't know. Um, Neither of these uh, hounds make it through this air defense. It's going to take them out. Um, and then air defense starts to target, uh, of course, air troops. Um, but it doesn't matter. That is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Clutch. Nothing but cleanup. And, and very cool. I've never seen a Bolalo without any type of golems. So I like using the BK as a tank there. It worked out great. Um, what is next? Oh, I'm going to show one of my attacks. Uh, don't often do this, um, but uh, the goal here was I thought I could get um, at least two of these air defenses with my queen walk. Um, and I was hoping that these baby dragons would take out that cannon uh, they actually don't. What happens is they move in there, and as soon as they do, the queen starts shooting, and they redirect onto the queen. Um, my queen steps up here pretty quickly, and that queen is not dead. Drop my king here to just move along and take out uh, defenses um, to make sure that my queen doesn't walk uh, up towards the 3 o'clock. She steps in, she takes out the enemy queen, um, and... Right at the worst possible time, my rage wears off. Uh, I wind up having to pop my queen's ability here, um, and I threw a rage down. But man, that was close. This this raid was almost over right there. Uh, my queen starts taking out that stuff. Now, I wish I would have had a baby drag to throw here because I get a little bit of a fright. Um, my queen is going to redirect a little bit, then she winds up coming back. I don't know what forced her to do that, and then turn around and walk back in. But I'm glad that she did. So my queen is in. Um, nothing to worry about here. Rage comes down. I know that that king is going to redirect on me here in a second. And so I start the Lalo portion. Um, and so queen is still doing work. Um, I bring in a, a couple of hounds. And then my loons are following right behind. Um, yeah, unfortunately, a Tesla pops there, and no longer were those hounds tanking, but throw down a uh, haste to get them moving through and bring in my other hound. Queen is still down here doing some work, and I'm going to drop one more haste right there, push through that uh, air defense, and that is it. And I'm fortunate enough here that everything takes long enough. My queen decides she's going to beat through a wall that this last hound does finally pop. And right there. And so lots of pups. And uh, yeah, that is it. It is tree stars. Queen walk Lalo, one of my favorite attacks. I love doing it. It takes, it takes a, a lot of planning. Um, all right, let's have a look at a different type of witch slap. So Adam does a witch slap with a P.E.K.K.A. And I like doing it with a P.E.K.K.A. I, I think that this is a very uh, nice approach. So he starts by trying to, to set a funnel for um, these witches. And we'll speed it up just a little bit. Uh, drops witches in the corners. Um, and this is, this is the way that uh, most of these start, right? Um, five to six witches in each corner. All of his witches are down. Uh, drops a P.E.K.K.A. in there. And it... it 
works out initially an awful lot like the um, P.E.K.K.A. smash does, where you're trying to set a funnel and push that P.E.K.K.A. into the middle of the base. Um, Captain Sparrow has, uh, or, or Riggle, has, uh, I, I think he rips a little bit on using the P.E.K.K.A. He thinks it's unnecessary. I like the push that you get with it. So P.E.K.K.A. has a, a lot of HP. You can see she, she one-shot that, that queen there. Um, or, or, I mean, that, uh, that king. Where is the queen? Uh, she must be down somewhere. Um, oh, over here. I'm sorry. Uh, and that P.E.K.K.A. is still up and still moving. Now, it's going to die here in a second. But if you can push a P.E.K.K.A. all the way through, like, 90% of the base, that is great value. Um, so uh, both of his um, groups of witches still have healers on them. Uh, that is the, kind of the goal for this, this attack, keeping those healers on those witches. Uh, and as long as those witches are under, under heal uh, or, or have healers on them, splash damage doesn't matter. Point defenses don't matter. I mean, the, the big threat for, for witches is uh, splash damage. Um, but splash damage has basically no effect when you've got a healer and... Uh, point defenses don't matter when you have tons and tons of skellies, and that's exactly what he had there. Uh, no use of poison. All right, um, Dida, or I, I, I think it's Dida. I think that's how he pronounces it. We're gonna move on here and look at his attack on 21. And this is, I mean, look at that army composition real quick. Three Pekkas, 14 Hogs, three Healers. It's very interesting. So it's looking like Pekka Smash, but with back end Hogs. Um, starts by uh, throwing a baby drag down um, and starting to set uh, his funnel here. Um, and he's going to come in right through here with his Pekkas and then hogs from uh, up here around 12 o'clock. Um, really, really cool attack. I thought it was outside of the box. It was nice thinking. Uh, this was a tough base. It gave us some trouble. So it was nice to see uh, Dida come in with a kind of a cool attack. Um, so in with the Pekka. Another P.E.K.K.A., another P.E.K.K.A., and healers are going to hop onto those P.E.K.K.A.s here real quick. Um, so they're moving along, um, move up to continue setting the funnel. Uh, the bad thing with P.E.K.K.A.s, right, they're slow. Um, uh, there we go. Funnel is set, and everything is going to start moving in. He immediately drops a poison on that queen. Uh, good call there. Uh, Baby Dragon is still up and just rocking. Uh, Baby Dragon kills that queen before anything else has an opportunity to. Um, bowlers, they walk a bit here. Uh, I think some of them will come back around, um, and then some of them don't. So, uh, here we go. CC is out. We'll speed it up just a little bit here. And they're in. Jump is down. Um, Pekka's still have those healers on them, and those healers are also targeting the bowlers, which is fantastic at this point, um, and in with the hogs. He's got one heal left for these hogs. Uh, everything out here was kind of, or at least that, that uh, expo was originally focused on um, the center uh, Pekka's, who still, by the way, have full health. Um, hogs working their way through the base here. Uh, doesn't have a poison for those skellies, unfortunately. Um, but Hog spent a lot of time in that heal. Um, and that is about it. Has not used the Queen's ability yet. And the Hogs do wind up getting, I think they get all but one defense. I don't think they get this last defense. I was thinking that those skellies ate him up before they had a chance, but it doesn't matter. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, Dida. All right, Ammer. Ammer hit number 19 with a Lalo. Um, and you can see here it's cold-blooded Lalo. He has a one golem. Um, he's got three uh, th three hounds in the C uh, with with the CC hound. Um, so he starts by setting his funnel here, right, and knocks out um, a couple of these. Uh, outside mortars. Um, able Baby Dragon was able to get quite a bit of work done on the queen. You'll see, uh, I think he wanted this king to go in here. I don't know, but the queen winds up going in. Out comes some goblins. Um, that CC is not fully pulled yet. Obviously, there is more than three goblins in the CC. Gets that air defense right there. Throws down that poison, knowing that she's about to step into uh, a bunch of CC troops. And she does not wind up getting that dragon, but enough poison to kill it there. 
and our Lalo is underway. Um, hits that first air defense. Uh, it is done for. Hastes up to the second air defense, and he's going to heal over these um, heavy splash damage uh, wizard towers. There we go. Um, still two hounds up now, just one, and the other one's going to pop right there, and boom. That is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Uh, lots and lots of loons left. Um, only two point defenses, and he's got rage right on top of that one. Oh, I'm sorry, three point defenses. So hustles up, throws down a, a haste to get over to that archer tower, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Throw down some cleanup troops. Nice job, Ammer. All right. And we have one 10v10 triple that we're going to watch here. So let's check this out. This was Tiger Hood, who I they think is Bucko from 2.0. I can't remember all these minis. I can't keep them straight. But uh, look, just it's starting off quick. Um, he's got a golem down, uh, some witches down and uh, bowlers and if you look at the troop comp you can see it is witches and bowlers and that can only mean one thing this is a uh, at town hall 10 they call it a bitch and so uh, witches and bowlers uh, work on their way through here uh, the skellies work nicely to distract point defenses so that the bowlers and witches can take out those defenses on the on the sides um, gets a big big push into the core here so bowlers and witches down the sides with some bowlers and witches going into the core um, a couple of jumps in, and he's got enough to push straight to uh, the back end of this base and get both of those um, Inferno Towers. There goes the second one right there, one shot from the Queen, and it's down, and now it is just a couple of point defenses. They're down. He's, he's looking now at just this uh, as, as the major threat. Um, the Wizard Tower could be a threat to some of these troops, um, particularly troops that are that are more vulnerable to splash damage. Uh, fortunately, got Skellies here to distract uh, the um, cannon. Queen gets in there, takes care of that uh, Wizard Tower, and that is it. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Uh, nice, nice job, Tigerhood. All right, guys, that is it for this war. Again, uh, props to Immoral Reapers. You guys came out on top. It was a good war. And uh, hopefully we will uh, see you guys later on down the road. Um, I, I checked the schedule. I don't think that we are on the schedule for CWL, but they are in CWL Rising, just like we are. Uh, so maybe in the uh, playoffs we'll wind up seeing you guys. Uh, this is Dr. D from One Hive Invicta saying clash on.